check your moon rising venus and jupiter you guys keep in mind the energies are fluid so it can go vice versa don't get hung up on the signs or genders um if you're new to the channel please take advantage of your free personal readings down below they are the first two links highly recommend them okay absolutely courtesy of the channel um and if you're trying to book a personal reading with me that would be the third link okay all my social media is there as well make sure you go follow over there all the platforms because I will be doing cash giveaways, product giveaways, decks, okay, um, Christmas, okay, so you guys follow, all right, follow over there, and yeah, that's the third link, all right, let's see what's going on for you guys, oh my goodness, we got a whole lot of decks over here, let's see what we're gonna, let's see what we're gonna pull out today, because I feel like you guys, there's a lot of sexual healing coming out for the signs, um, as we are moving into Libra season as well, your sign, um, house of partnerships, it feels like very prominent, okay, at this time. So let's see what's going on for my Libras. What's going on with you guys? Oh my God. They really are stubborn today. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo, an Aries, a Scorpio. All right, let's see going on oh okay we have the four of swords so clarity you're getting clarity here um oh this could be about a person or a situation okay oh could be about a cancer they're in the eight of swords someone's in the eight of swords about betrayal here justice is coming out in the reverse in the obstacle position here we have Leo coming out, the Sun card. We have, damn, this Seven of Swords is here. Oh, baby, this person is spying on you. Okay, you got a lot of swords, okay? A lot of air energy here in your reading. A lot of air. I feel like there was some sort of harsh communication with somebody here. Somebody cannot sleep at night. They cannot sleep at night. They're thinking about you quite often. Um... This could have been an earth sign, you guys. All right. I feel like you guys are going towards a, a water sign. Or a Leo. I'm hearing Cancer. Okay. Um, maybe a Cusper. All right. Leo, Cancer. Or um, I heard Gemini. Okay, you guys. Um. This person has a lot of secrets, okay? I, whoever this person is that you gotten clarity about, they could be coming towards you, okay? Um, with the Seven of Swords. Oh, God. There's a lot of deception here. I feel like they have a lot of feelings for you, okay? Because with the Princess of Swords, in the position of how you're being seen, it's like, I feel like they are watching deeply, um, intentively, okay? This person is very intentively watching you, um... In, with anxiety they having like nightmares i'm hearing day nightmares daymares is that is that a thing daymares um you know how people daydream i don't know this person's having like some sort of anxiety i'm getting ptsd around some sort of betrayal either this is from you or another person well whoever your person is coming in um they're, they're very damaged okay they're very damaged there's a need for healing um like they fantasize about you quite often. I feel like they're afraid to tell you something, though. Like, it's really weird. It's like somebody who's trying to tell you what's going on in their life, but it's they're ashamed of this, okay? This is someone who's ashamed because the Eight of Swords is like someone who has nightmares, right? Seven of Swords is deception. It's like they have been lying to you already. They've been lying, okay? But they're going to come in with one more lie. I'm getting like there's going to be something they're going to say that is 
you're just it's going to be the nail in the coffin is what i'm hearing look at all the swords oh my god there's betrayal here in everything. Like, Ten of Swords is betrayal, right? It's how they feel about you. They could have felt like you betrayed them. I feel like this person is very private. I don't know if you said something in front of someone. Because there's something about communication here, you guys. But there's a lot of deception, okay? I feel like these are multiple people involved with the moon. It speaks about gossip. Um, maybe whatever rumors you heard about this person were not true. Okay, I'm hearing something like that. There's somebody here who was um, bad-mouthing this individual. They could have been bad-mouthing you. And none of these things are true. Okay, so, but whatever it is, it's keeping someone away from the other person because they have a lot of anxiety. It's like they have PTSD. This could be you, okay? Um, because it's how you're being seen. Eight of Swords, like someone who have, who's having um, sort of like nightmares, anxiety um you keep replaying things over and over ten of swords in, in, in the um position of how they feel about you is like someone was betrayed and it could have been you libra i feel like there's a lot of people who may have backstabbed you okay i feel like these are jealous people you guys i do i feel like there's their jealousy there's jealousy here um we have this sun card here which is like happiness harmony in your home um and I'm also getting with this, with the four swords, it's like, you've gained clarity on what really matters. Like, whatever this is, you've kind of put it to the side, um, but it still haunts you, okay? Because I feel like there's some trauma here, you guys, for real. Yeah, we got the seven of pentacles, Mary, and the prince of pentacles. So, somebody was offering something <laughs> that was like, at face value, it was like, a diamond but in reality it's like um a, co a piece of coal a rock okay a crack rock or something like that <laughs> a crack rock oh my gosh it like somebody was offering you something that was not what it what it was okay they made it out to be something entirely different and you found out the truth okay um you're you're focusing on happiness and harmony within the home with your children you could have an earth sign or a fire sign child Okay, uh, I hear cancer for some of you. Um, a Leo. But yeah, this like... <sighs> it's still... Oh my God. It's like... Oh my God, I'm getting so tired. Oh shit. Uh, it's like draining energetically. So you're not focusing on this anymore. Um, you've gained clarity. You know, it's actually a good thing that someone has realized something about a certain person or situation. Because now they can move forward. It's actually good, okay? And the Ten of Swords coming out, not everybody sees the positive in that. I do, because I feel like you, at least you know, right? You know now, right? So it's like you can move forward. Um, whatever this was, if it's still plaguing you, there's a need to remove your energy, okay? Because you got the Six of Wands in your reading. I see victory here. We got the Justice card. I feel like somebody is getting their justice for whatever it is that they did to you. Um, and that's really, that's your card too, Libra, that's your card, okay? The energy of 11, right? Um, also House of Partnerships is highly aspected here with the Justice card mirroring the Seven of Swords because you are an air sign and you are Seventh House. The Seven of Swords, um, is not you energetically, but it is you, um, physically, okay? Um, visually. I shouldn't say physically, more visually, okay? Not energetically, not deception, okay? But this mirroring this this justice card in reverse, I'm feeling like someone's getting their karma, okay? Um, now, I don't know. Like, this could go either way, too, because I'm hearing, like, somebody say, um, I'm not waiting for justice. Like, I'm hearing someone not waiting for karma to do its thing. Somebody's actually bringing it to the table. Oh, I hope this is not you. Because, you know, you can't do that. I mean, you can, but you will have consequences later for your actions, right? So, um, I would not take things, I would not take matters into my own hands. I would rather let this just play out the way it is. Whoever it is is doing all the backstabbing and the lying and the sneaking around and spreading rumors. They're, they're going, it's going to catch up to them. I also feel there is some projecting here, especially with the Eight of Swords and the um, Princess of Swords mirroring. There's something around projection here. Somebody is um, gaslighting you, 
Okay, it's not exactly what it is, you guys. It's not what it seems. It's not what it seems. It's there's some it's there's some ulterior motive for this person's behavior, and you like I feel like if you especially if you did nothing wrong, there's something around jealousy here. I'm getting jealousy, mirror magic with the princess of swords. Somebody wanting to be you, Libra. They want to be you. That's what I heard. I said I want to be you. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I wanna be you. I wanna be you. Yeah. I know that. I know that's not how it goes, but it's so funny because <laughs> it came out like that. I wanna be with you. Yeah. Um, they wanna be you. Like, there's something like this person has anxiety about it overnight, every night, and it's not your problem. I feel like whatever you're focused on at this time, it, it does speak about harmony. Okay, with the sum card, it's like. You care more about what's going on in your home sector rather than what's going on in the external. And somebody around you is trying to sort of like alter your perception and thinking the way um, they do. Because they're very, this person's riddled with anxiety. I feel like they want you to be in this energy. Okay, Libra? Like they're trying to take your attention off your blessings. And I don't feel like it's going to work. They're, they're doing it through backstabbing, you know, lying, sneaking around, spreading rumors. They want to bring you to a lower vibration, you guys, okay? Um, that is their initial goal um, because I feel like this person is stagnant. They're spying a lot, okay? I would say this is pertains to love when it's uh, Princess of Swords in reverse because that typically is, um, when it's in the reverse, it's like tenfold, someone who's watching you heavily, um, researching you online. Um, but there's deception here. There's somebody who's doing it to try to hurt you okay so i don't see love especially with the ace of cups in reverse um they're trying to either steal something from you that is yours already or yeah because i get the six of wands too like mirroring the justice card like someone's trying to take something that belongs to you that is yours is your birthright and um they're trying to like either take it and make it their own or they just don't want you to have it okay because I'm getting there's a lot of gossip around this, okay? This person could have some people working with them to try to sabotage you. Yeah, the Seven of Swords is really, like, it's really pissing me off. I don't like the way it's mirroring the moon. It's like double confirmation of deception here. The moon is, the moon is something hidden, right? And then you got the Seven of Swords. And look at the way she's holding it behind her back, the sword. And then she's kind of, like, waving, like, come here. Come, come closer. You know what I'm saying? Like, come here. I got to tell you a secret or something. <laughs> Hold on now. <laughs> Stay away from these people, please. Okay, God. <sighs> if they're talking... Okay, if this is someone who's just talking shit about someone else to you, stay away from this person because this is the same person... I can't even talk. Oh, my God. This, 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 this. The same person who's talking about this other individual is talking about you as well. It's just like, you're getting clarity. Some of you are getting clarity about this. Stay away from these kind of people because that's what they do. You know, they talk about other people. Um, and as soon as you turn your back, here they go talking about you. This could be family members, some of you, okay? But I am getting friends, okay? Strong energy around friendship because we got seventh house, partnerships, okay? Partnerships, partnerships, partnerships. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there's a need to be grounded, all right? With the earth energy mirroring the sun energy, I feel like you guys need to be grounded and focus on your family dynamic, okay? Your family um, comes first, your children come first. Um, their energy is more strong here, okay? With this two mirroring, it's like you're um, filing, finally finding balance within the home as well. And you could be going back to school, focus on this, but... While you're doing all that, there's people just talking, talking, whispering. I'm getting a lot of whispers. I mean, if you do something for a living, I don't know, like if you're like a tarot reader or um, you have like a, a public presence online, but there's somebody gossiping. Oh my God. They're hating on either your business, your business acumen, your, your, um, your, your, studies. Okay. For some of you could be studying. I am getting something around beauty. Okay. Something around beauty. Now I just heard Beauty and the Beast. Somebody's a beast, okay? This person's a beast. They are sent from the freaking south. They're sent from the 
the the um the, they're sent from hell is what I'm hearing. This person was sent from hell to just distort your mind, distort the way you view things, and it's not working. So they gotta call and they gotta bring out the big guns. This person is doing like some mirror magic. Okay, they're trying to be you. They could have. Oh my gosh, I'm getting like repa I'm getting like page reports, page reports, um, blocking like page reports, um, on your pages like your business page or whatever. Somebody's trying to get you in trouble, or they're trying to find a reason to like. There's a lot of I'm getting trolling, honey, straight up. But low key, this person wants to be you. Yeah, I'm just getting someone like wishing on a star. This person could view you as, I feel like your life is not that easy. And this way this person views it is like, it's just too easy for you. I need to make it hard. Um, but while they're doing this, they're taking away from themselves here. Okay. They're, they're betraying their own heart. They're betraying their own, their own blessings. Okay. Their karma, they're, they're literally giving themselves their own karma. By doing this, every time they make a move, I'm getting like, every time they make a move, the divine makes a move. <laughs> now, I just heard <laughs> ludicrous. Um, who else is that? Um, when I move, you move just like that. When I move, you move just like that. So every move they make. <laughs> and then I heard that other song. I'll be watching you. Yes, honey, they're being, okay, this, I feel like the divine is watching this person heavily, like, they are, I heard they're, they're, they're flagged, this person was flagged as a threat <laughs> in your external environment, there's like an energetic portal, um, or bubble around you, protective portal or protective bubble, um, that keeps people like this away from you energetically, okay, like, this is why you're in harmony with your family and your children and your home and, um, a lot of you guys are very creative. Your abilities are getting stronger, whether you are mediums or your artists. Um, some of you guys could work in, um, I heard marketing. You could work in a law firm, a law firm's form, a law firm. You could have to like submit a, a, fir a form against this person. I'm getting a restraining order. This person is obsessed with you. You know, Eight of Swords is obsession for me as a reader. It's like, obsessed i already betrayed you but i can't help it i need to do it again because what i did last time didn't work it's not working my magic isn't working <laughs> oh honey yep a lot of deception okay let me get one oracle message from the um oh excuse me oh my God. shit Sorry, I'm <laughs> tired. I woke up a little sleepy today. So we got the Oracle of Dragons here, the Dragon Oracle deck. So we're going to get one message for you just to raise the vibration in this reading because I cannot stand this bitch, okay? Somebody who's relentless. They are up day and night plotting and planning. They're on their computer. Oh, this Rose Pink Dragon comes out quite often. Um, It's all about love, baby. It's all about love. Rose Pink Dragon prepares your heart to connect with the higher fit facets of cosmic heart. Okay. Open your heart to warm hearted love and diamond light. Connect with the love of the universe. And you know what? You got the sun card here. So you also being ruled by the planet of love, Venus, right? Um, you are protected. Anything that comes near you. Ooh. Especially with the sun card coming out. If you're a Libra sun, um, there's, a, there's a lot of harmony. You might have a lot of trines in your chart. Okay, you have a lot of gifts, baby. So this is like natural to attract these kind of people, lower vibrations. Of course, they're going to come. I mean, you can't have one without the other. Um, I heard new levels, new devils, okay? So you may be leveling up and this person is just not having it, especially with the Six of Wands, you know? This is victory. You know, the Six of Wands, I also see, like, too, like, bodies everywhere. People who have been slayed. Slayed. Okay? 
<laughs> by the mighty sword. Okay, I also heard you live by the sword, die by the sword. So somebody here, whoever keeps coming back and doing this deception or, you know, these acts of um, lower vibrational energies, like I feel like this person is going to, like when I say live by the sword, die by the sword, it's figuratively, okay? Something that they do to you, anything that they do to you is going to come back to them. It's going to happen to them, and they're going to wish that they never did it. They're going to they're, It's going to come back when they've changed their ways. Good shit. Lo and behold, this person changes their ways, and all of a sudden, they, their karma catches up to them. They're like, why is all this happening to me? I've been such a good girl. I've been such a good boy. Like, I'm, I'm not doing anything wrong. They're like, but don't you remember when you did all this shit to Libra? Huh. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> I heard we've been waiting. <laughs> oh, that's how the universe works, baby. They wait till you get up so they can knock you back down. Okay? Because they're like, yeah, we're not going to do anything right now. That's why this person thought that they were untouchable. Because, like, they kept doing it and nothing was happened to them, you know? Um... All of a sudden, everything's falling apart. The business, their work. People are stealing their ideas. I don't know. There's something that's just going on. It's going heavily wrong for this person. And you, you're like, do do do, braiding my hair, doing my nails. No biggie. Just living my life, living my best life. And you don't even pay no mind. You don't even sit to watch this person get their karma. Like it just happens. Next time you see them, they're like a bum on the street. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wishful thinking. I'm just kidding. All right, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I know it's kind of it was kind of mean girlish, okay? But it's only because that's the energy that was, you know, attacking you. So you give it right back, okay? Give it back, bitch. All right. I don't want this shit. Thank you. Um, I love you guys. You enjoy your fr free personal readings down below. If you're trying to book a reading and you want to see the reviews, okay, please go look at the personal reading reviews. Those are personal reading reviews. Okay, they're on my website. That's a that's the third website. Okay, you get your free reports. Those are the first two websites. Um, but yeah, if you're booking or if you're trying to follow on social media for the cash giveaways, baby, you need to do that. Stop wasting time. All right, because I, I mean, damn. I love you guys. All right. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.